Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we're going to be getting right into the nail set. We're not really unboxing anything and I actually already did the nail prep for these nails. There wasn't much nail prep to do so I didn't add that part in but we're just gonna get right into gluing on these nail tips. So I'm just using some not polished nail tips and I'm gonna glue them on with some base coat. Here how the nails are looking after all the tips are glued on and now i'm going to trim these down just a little bit next we're just going to reshape these nails and then i'm going to go in with my fine grit sanding band and remove the shine Okay, and here are how the nails are looking. Now I'm just going to be adding on a layer of base coat. Alright, and let's just get right into this poly gel application. So in this video, we're going to be doing ombre nails. So we're just going to need a white poly gel and a nude poly gel. So just a classic nude to white ombre. So we're going to start at the tip of the nail. I'm going to be taking that white poly gel and putting a long bead of that on the nail. And then I'm going to smooth it out to spread the poly gel around and smooth it out evenly. What I do is I drag the poly gel all the way down to one side of the nail. And then on the other side, I do the same thing. So first I try to cover all of the nail tip with poly gel and then I go ahead and start smoothing everything and making sure that it's a nice shape. And then I'm just going to be kind of blending this white poly gel into the rest of my nail just to make it a little bit easier when I do the ombre. And we're also going to try and make this layer as thin as possible. So I literally have barely any poly gel on there. Um, just enough to keep the color. Then we're going to be taking our nude poly gel and I'm going to put a bead of that at the cuticle area. So I'm just going to try and push the poly gel as close to the cuticle, like as close to the skin as I can, but not touching the skin and making sure that's all nice and neat and that it's not flooding the cuticle area. And then I'm just going to drag that poly gel up the nail to create our ombre blend. But here was my problem. This nude poly gel that I used is the Asiesta poly gel, like my favorite nude poly gel that I've been using in like all my videos recently. For some reason, it just didn't look that right. Like it looked like the color looked a bit off. I'm guessing it's because it was like against the white. It made the color look very dark and like harsh, you know, and it was kind of hard to blend. It didn't look very seamless. I was like, uh, I'm sure it's fine. So I just cured it. I end up changing it later. Um, So we're just going to move on to the rest of the nails and we'll get back to that. So onto the the pointer finger i'm just going to be adding a layer of the white poly gel at the tip of the nail just smoothing it out and blending that white poly gel up into my natural nail and smoothing out all the edges And I'm just going to be doing that for all the nails basically. What I like to do when I do ombre is just do all the tips of the nails and then come back and do all of the like ombre nude part of the nails. I feel like it's just easier to focus on one thing and then come back and do the next thing instead of having to go back and forth from the white and the nude. And also I feel like I haven't done like a classic nude to white ombre in a long time. I've, I've done ombre. I've been doing ombre recently but not just a nude to white one so it was just kind of nice. 
this was refreshing. So on this ring finger nail, I put a little bit too much poly gel and I feel like something that I just love to do when I have too much poly gel on the nail, I try and smooth out the nail and like make it as nice as possible and kind of spread all the excess poly gel to the tip of the nail and kind of make it drag off the tip. And then once it's there, I like to like slice it off with the poly gel spatula and it, I, and it just gives it that nice crisp edge because you're taking off all that extra poly gel that you don't need and then you're just straightening out the edge of the nail, which I feel like gives it that nice crisp look so i don't know i love doing that and i think it's satisfying to the cuticle area of the nails i decided to change the nude poly gel that i was using and i did this poly gel i don't know what kit this is from i can't remember but i'll definitely link it in the description i have to go look at which kit i found it in As you can see the difference like on the thumbnail the nude poly gel it just looks so dark against the white so i decided to try a lighter nude this one definitely works better like it was easier to blend into the white because it's it's not such a dark color so it just was easier and once i blended it in the nail i was like okay yeah this is definitely better the acs the poly gel will work for like different colored tips of the nails but when it comes to the white it just on me at least it looked very harsh so i went with a different color for the nude and um this color actually has blue shimmer in it which i didn't realize until it was like on my nail and i was like no i don't really mind it so i just left it I kind of like it actually. It just adds a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of sparkle to the nails, which I like. This was honestly the perfect nude to use for this nail set. I don't know, it just, it worked with the white really well and yeah, just a really pretty color. I'm just doing that on all the nails i'm just trying to get that poly gel as close to the skin as i can without touching the cuticle area or without it flooding the cuticle area and then i'm just gonna drag that poly gel upwards and i like to drag the poly gel up into a straight edge that way my ombre is even when i blend it up because like all the poly gels at the same starting place so when i go to drag it up and ombre it like the ombre is even and with poly gel it's a little bit harder sometimes with the ombres so that has really helped me just like forming it into that straight edge and then blending it from that but besides the nail set i've just really been enjoying uploading videos so frequently it takes work it's not like easy you know but i have been enjoying it you know it's a new year and just being able to be on top of my videos and i don't know just posting so often it makes me feel good like even though you know the nail sets take me a while and editing takes me a while it's like rewarding and i'm glad that you guys are enjoying the videos i hope you guys are so yeah yeah, I'm just going to try and post as much as I can. I'm so happy that I graduated from high school because I feel like that was honestly holding me back. If I was not graduated, I probably wouldn't be posting videos as much because it's just, it's really hard for me to 
be focused on more than one like major thing i guess you could say at once for example youtube and school like those are pretty major things and it's hard for me to be focused on both of them at the same time like putting my full effort in them so if i'm trying to get like good grades in school and trying to get all my assignments done on time then on youtube i'm not going to be as focused on it as much as i am on school for example or if i'm more focused on posting videos and doing nails then obviously my school is going to decline so you know what i mean so what i've learned about myself from these past couple years from doing youtube is that it's just hard for me to focus on more than one major thing at a time and put like my full effort in i know i can work on that i'm so glad that i got to graduate early just doing youtube feels right i'm really happy and really lucky that i have the chance to do youtube and honestly i don't think i would have even thought about graduating early unless i had youtube so thank you to you guys But anyway, what I did to fix the thumbnail was I just filed down the nude poly gel that I already had there as much as I can and then I just put the new one on top. Pretty simple fix, I thought it'd be a little bit hard or annoying to um, fix, but no, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so here are how the nails are looking after all the ombre is done and these nails look so cute already but we have to encapsulate them because they are ombres if we don't encapsulate them then we will just end up filing away that nice blend that we made you just have to mostly focus on encapsulating the ombre part of the nail so you don't really have to worry too much about the tip of the nail or the like base cuticle area of the nail of course you gotta make sure that your structure is good so if the tip of your nail is really thin then definitely add your clear poly gel there which is what I do. So I'm just gonna get encapsulating all these nails. After we're done encapsulating, the nails are looking so good so far. We're just gonna get started reshaping them. Okay, 
Are you guys ready for the main star of this video, which is the nail art? The nail art was the main star, but she was the struggle too. She did not make it easy. So we are doing heart flame nail art. I've seen this all over Instagram and I was like, that is so cute, but I know it's gonna be hard. And yes, it was hard because one of my things that I literally just cannot do is do hearts like outlined like i can make hearts that are like filled in but when it comes to outlined hearts only and they're not filled in that's when it gets hard for me anything that is like outlined and not filled in i have a hard time so we're starting off on the thumbnail and i'm going to be making this flame white so on each of the nails we're going to get to like a darker pink for this nail is white the next nail will be a lighter pink and then all the way down to the pinky which is the pinky is the darkest pink color and to make this flame it was not easy um i saw an instagram video that said like to start off with an eye and just kind of connect everything so like start with the flames make the heart and like connect it down to the base and then add those other tiny flames on the sides not that easy as it sounds okay each nail took me at like at least at least like i had to erase everything and start over again So on these first couple of nails, I started off with like a dot in the center and then just kind of a straight line down, like starting off with the letter I. So I did that on the first couple of nails. Um, I created like the flames that are on the top of the heart and then created my heart shape, you know, had to fill all that stuff in. And then I did the little hearts on the side. Now for the pointer fingernail, I did the flame a little bit like too tall so and I went ahead and had to erase it and did it all over again and made it like a little bit shorter because I don't know, the heart was like a little bit too high up so it looked a little bit off. I'm not really sure the best way to explain this nail art. All I can say is it's not easy. For me at least, like I am not, like I like easy nail art. Easy nail art is my favorite because I don't know, I just like nail art that you can't fail at. And this one, like, I was thinking about giving up on this one because this was really hard. But after I did the thumbnail, I was like, you know what, I can do this. So I did the thumbnail and then moved on to the rest of the nails and each nail got easier as I went. And of course, like, it always happens. You always get the hang of it by the last nail. I said this in my last video. You always get the hang of what you're doing by the last nail, of course, and now you're done. This nail art took me probably like two hours to do but by the end of it what I started to do was just kind of make the top flames like the flames that are on top of the heart and then make my heart outline and then kind of like connect everything to look more like a flame Was this nail art worth the struggle? I'm not sure if it was. It's cute. It's a really cute nail art. I love the look of it, like a heart flame. It's just so cute, right? Whoever came up with this idea, it's it's really cute, but it's really hard to do. Luckily though, they at least turned out looking somewhat like, you know, the inspiration. I did like how they turned out. These are really cute. I can't lie. And you can see what I meant by like the pink gets darker on each nail. So it looks like an ombre across each nail.
after we're done with all the nail art, we're gonna go ahead and finish this look off with some top coat. And now we're going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil on. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. If you've ever tried this nail art, let me know how it went for you. But I can't deny that they look great. Like, the flame, it's, it's really cute. It just took so much work to achieve but anyway the ombre love the ombre haven't done a classic ombre in a while and the blue like the shimmery in the nude part i don't know if you guys can really tell but the shimmer in the nude poly gel is very pretty and just adds a little bit of extra you know something into the nail set but the of course but of course the flame hearts is this star of the show on a difficulty scale of 1 to 10 of how difficult this nail art was to do i would give it a 9.5 or a 10 honestly but how it looks, like the cuteness of it is definitely a 10 out of 10. Like I'm sure, I'm sure if I practiced it more and like it was easier to do, then of course, like I would do this all the time. That's pretty much all I have to say. Let me know your thoughts on this nail set, on the nail art. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye!